I'm Guarinita with Il Exotic, and this is Mental Health Monday. If you are watching the last video, then you'll know that this is a continuation video of physical wellness, part of our little mini series about the eight dimensions of wellness. So this week, we're going to jump into the overall physical health. I tried to be kind of thorough with this and find um, some resources that people can use throughout the country of the United States. If you're in other countries, I'm sorry, I don't really have too many resources for you as far as tangible resources, but you can watch these videos and they'll still apply to you. As part of your physical wellness is your overall physical health. And this would be things like having regular doctor checkups, immunizations, keeping those up to date and getting your flu shot. And there's a lot of controversy about that one. I get it every year. Washing your hands after going to the bathroom or before eating and resting when you're sick, which I know can be a really tough one. And safe sex practices. Before diving deep into this topic, I just want to recognize that a lot of people, especially in this country, do not have access to health insurance and reliable health care, affordable health care, and that is really terrible. <laughs> I tried to find some resources for everyone like that. I think that part of physical wellness is keeping that in mind when you're going into the voting booth and picking which candidate you would like. If you don't have health care and you'd really like health care in case of emergency or maybe because everyone needs health care. So if you would like health care, you know, it's important to take a look at the government and see where you can vote to help support that. If you do have health care, help us out, please, and still vote to get health care for all of us because when more of us have health care, then we're all safer because we have herd immunity. My little tangent. Regular checkups and immunizations are important because when you're doing regular lab tests or seeing a doctor regularly and having them, you know, update your chart and stuff, you can catch any small irregularities that you wouldn't have seen before, before it's too late, before anything starts really developing. So yeah, it's important preventative measures. And even if, you know, something like the measles is like eradicated and dead, it's still important to get your vaccine for any of these things because you just never know if it existed before it can exist again i don't have all the answers but i know people are still getting measles so immunize yourself immunize your kids there's people that cannot get their immunizations because of weakened immune systems so it's important that we all protect each other because we are a community if you're uninsured you can get low cost services at a sliding scale rate at community health centers I'll put a link down below. There's a website that you can go to and search for community health centers in your vicinity so that you can find one close to you. At community health centers, they provide prenatal care, shots for babies, general primary care, and referrals to specialists, such as for mental health services, HIV or AIDS treatment, or other things that would require specialized treatment. If you need support around reproductive health, I highly suggest checking out Planned Parenthood if you haven't. I know that they're a very hot topic on the news, but Planned Parenthood offers tons of services. I love Planned Parenthood. I have used Planned Parenthood. Here's some stuff that they provide. Birth control, contraceptives, including condoms, because you know, wrap it before you tap it. No glove, no love. Don't be silly, protect your willy. Stop the stream before you cream. Wrap your bait before you mate. Especially in December, gift wrap your member. If you go into heat, package your meat. Cover your stump before you hump. When in doubt, shroud your spout. If it's time to get spunky, cover the monkey. Planned Parenthood also has pap smears, STI and STD testing, prenatal care, treatments for urinary tract infections, cancer screenings, vasectomies, and gender affirming hormone therapy. If you have anything reproductive health related, you can call them, make an appointment, and see if they can help you out there. Don't be scared of Planned Parenthood just because of what the news says. I have 
been to Planned Parenthood plenty of times and they've helped me a lot. I've tried quite a few different contraceptive methods. They've given me, they've given me condoms. They've treated me for urinary tract infection. I've been tested for STDs there. I've gotten Plan B there. Those are just the services that I have personally used. I'm not sure what else they have, but you should definitely check it out. They take Medicare and they definitely help people who are uninsured. Another part of physical health is avoiding and minimizing drug and alcohol use. A really popular thing that I've heard of is called harm reduction. According to the Harm Reduction Coalition website, harm reduction incorporates a spectrum of strategies from safer use to managed use to abstinence to meet drug users where they're at, addressing conditions of use along with the use itself. All that is to say that harm reduction isn't to tell you you're bad or what you're doing is wrong. It's to look at the repercussions of your actions on your physical health, on the people around you, and to try to minimize those things. Whether you're ready to quit cold turkey, whether you're ready to just cut back, it's up to you. Harm reduction is accepting of the whole person, understanding, non-coercive, non-judgmental, and does not ignore or minimize the dangers of drug use. This part is important because illicit drugs and overuse of alcohol can lead to heart conditions, cancer, and physical health issues. If harm reduction is interesting to you, you can leave me a comment and I'd love to dive in further in another video and just focus on harm reduction. I'm not sure how many people know about harm reduction or how popular it is, but it's a really effective and useful tool. And it's useful not just for drug use or alcohol use, but for if you have trouble with eating, yourself, harm or plenty of other things that people struggle with. All in all, physical wellness is about what healthy habits make you feel good. You decide what your physical wellness looks like. If you decide to cut back on unhealthy food, but maybe on Saturday nights, you eat mozzarella sticks. You do you. If your idea of physical wellness is joining roller derby and getting your exercise that way, even though, you know, you're probably gonna get bruised up and banged up a bit, you do you. The main point of the eight dimensions of wellness is to find self-directed balance between all eight of them. If you like this video, give it a like. Tell me down in the comments what your idea of physical wellness is. If you like this series, subscribe so you can see more episodes. Have a great day. Love you.